In this lesson, we will introduce the notes application and how to use math boxes. On your handheld, open up a new notes application. This is much more than a place just to store notes. We can insert notes and text here, but we can also make interactive documents. This can be very useful in an examination setting. If you wanted to enter some text, just start typing. So this is text. The more useful feature of the notes page is that it can be interactive. So let's now insert a math box. To do that, I would go menu. I come down to option three, which is insert. And option one is math box. And you can see also the shortcut is control M. Inside the math box, just type in 4x plus 2x, press enter, and it will give you the result. Anything that you can do in a calculator application, you can also do inside a math box. If I wanted to change that output, I can come up and just edit what I've typed in. I can put in a negative instead, press enter, and it outputs the new result, which is updated live. To change the look of the output, instead of having a green arrow, I could change that to say an equal sign. To do that, I press menu, I come down to math box options, math box attributes, option one, and instead of an arrow symbol, I'm gonna choose an equal sign, and okay. And it changes the look of your output. Let's now set up an interactive notes page to find the area of a triangle. So I'm gonna insert a new notes application, control add page, which is above the dot key. Come down to option six, which is add notes. And we are gonna calculate the area of a triangle. That's just text. We're going to input our base and height values and store those. So to do that, we're gonna go menu, we're going to insert option three, and we're gonna insert a math box, option one, or control M is your shortcut. And we're gonna define the base. So your base is defined to be equal to, so to do that, it's control, and then above your math template, you'll see the colon equals symbol, and our base is gonna be 10 units. Press enter. Our height of our triangle is gonna be defined to be equal to, let's say, five units. Press enter, and it stores those values. We now need to calculate the formula for the area. So area will be defined to be equal to. Now, instead of typing base and height again, you can access that from the variables key. So press var and choose base multiplied by, press your var key, choose height, and then we're gonna divide by two, press enter, and it outputs your calculation, the area of that triangle. The beauty of this is that we can now go back and change our values. So let's say my base was eight, it updates my area to be 20. The other thing to be aware of is that let's say we had a base of seven. Our output is by default in exact form. If you want to change that to an approximation or a decimal, the best way to do that is click inside your math box where your formula is and press your control enter key, which then does an approximation to your calculation. You can change the look of the output as well by going to menu, you can come down to format, you can change your text color and fill color, and you can change other options in your math box attributes also. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.